There's talk that the block should permanently get the axe, with Grand Designs Australia host Peter Madison asserting it should be banned from TV altogether. After 18 seasons and approximately 25 different dramas they've alleged to be TV's biggest ever cheating scandal, you'd think the Reno show would be dead in the water. However, it's tipped to be back in 2023 and Grand Designs Captain Peter ain't happy. According to the host, the block falsely represents what people can achieve with their own renovation projects. I hate the block, it's absolute bloody nonsense, he told the binge guide. LOL. It should be banned from television because it leaves people with the false aspirations that they can become, in inverted commas, a project manager or a builder or a designer. Adding that the series is a joke, Peter continued by noting the block is a very bad example of the reality of building. Okay, pop off, King. The responsibilities around that and the difficulty of it all. They make it look very easy, he said. Easy. I think the contestants would beg to differ. Fans rally around Peter Madison's opinion that the block should be scrapped Many Aussies on social media back Peter's opinion that the block is overrated AF, with some claiming they were done with reality TV. It's sometimes hard to tell the difference between the block and Married at First Sight with all the drama they invent. It used to be a good show, one user wrote. Another claimed the renovation series is mostly unrealistic. What these shows don't show is what happens when there is a hiccup in resolution, and still maintain schedule and budget. A third declared that the whole show should be banned. Meanwhile, others said tradies have been condemning the block for years. And Tyler's cop some of the most hate is now everyone thinks they can just throw a tile on the wall and it will be all good. So why pay Tyler's good cash? They continued. Nothing is ever smooth with Reno's, sick, it's always way more involved than people think and then they want it for the price of chips. The backlash comes after the 18th season was shrouded in drama, with some teams failing to complete their build. As such, host Scott Cam admitted that something's gotta give, teasing a big change for the next iteration. Want even more goss? Listen to episode 249 of the So Dramatic podcast with Megan Puschetto below. Know something that we don't? Spill the tea here. Get the tea first. Follow So Dramatic on Instagram and tune in on Tuesdays to get your reality tea fix with the So Dramatic podcast with Megan Puschetto. Indy Brumelin January 24, 2023 Indy Brumelin Digital Content Producer Indy is an OG member of the So Dramatic online team and spends her days delving into the nitty-gritty of reality TV's most chaotic drama. When she's not on the clock, you can find her binging TV thrillers on Netflix and dancing around the kitchen to Elton John. Who is the most iconic Aussie reality TV star ever? Beauty and the Geek's Lahi Mansell, the man is a national treasure and I won't hear a bad word about him. Favorite reality TV show? Love Island. What is your favorite reality TV quote? The Great British Bake Off, started making it, had a breakdown, Bon Appetite. What would your real housewives tagline be? If I cut you off, it's because you handed me the scissors. Contact, India at Sidramatasia Media. Tom.